My name is Adrienne Harrington and I work as a host for a touristic train experience. When I was in university, uh, I had done a, a, a like an apprenticeship at a tour company and I had worked there and I started getting into tourism and really um, learning what it meant to take somebody on an experience as it was a tour company, a bus tour company. Um, and so then after that, uh, when I was getting looking towards what I wanted to do when I finished my degree, I decided I wanted to be a tour director eventually. And so how was I going to go to do that, how, what my path would be, I decided that um, being somewhat of a tour director, a tour guide would probably make it uh, a good uh, fit for me and so that's why I chose to be a tour guide on a train. What I find the most rewarding is when you give somebody that experience where they've uh, they've been maybe hoping to have this trip for you know years they've been saving up but it's not a cheap trip to do and they're coming from other countries as well so this may have been their dream to come to Canada at some point in their life and they're finally able to do that and then you're able to provide them with that experience where where you can connect with them uh, with any, on a unique level, a very personal level, um, getting to know them and their family and their experience and their life, where they come from, uh, what their jobs were, and then when you're saying goodbye to them at the end of the end of the, the trip, and they just give you a hug and and they're getting teary eyed and you get teary eyed and they just say thank you so much. This was a trip of a lifetime. It just I, I can't really explain exactly how that feels, but it is pretty pretty fantastic. Having another language is a, is a good idea as well. Um, so if you do speak another language, uh, then making sure that you can speak it fluently, that would be another, another thing to do. Um, also, being ready to apply, because pe what people don't know is that uh, you actually have to apply in, in uh, winter time <laughs> to get a job for the summer for those particular positions that really need a unique experience. So I think when I was hired there was 3,500 3, um, applicants, uh, resumes that they went through and they narrowed it down for a few hundred for an interview and then 50 of us were chosen. So you have to, to be able to, um, to have all those little kind of nuances, those little things that they ask for in their job description and be able to uh, to write your resume and your cover letter to be able to attack those little things and making sure that um, if they ask you to be um, a friendly, engaging person um, in their, their little blurb on, in their job description of qualifications of some. Probably not, they wouldn't say, they wouldn't say that, but um, if that's what they say, then making sure that when you're writing in your cover letter, I am a, a friendly and engaging person, <laughs> or whatever they're asking for, and it just, um, that, that's pretty much for any other job. Uh, it's a really good thing because, you know, they, they run it through a software and they look up for those specific words that they put in those job descriptions, so, yeah, so that, that just being, being ready and, um, and taking it seriously, like any other job, uh, you need to make sure that um, that you're a great fit for them, and, and they're a great fit, fit for you as well.